Hello everybody, this is Dominic and in this final installment of the Resistance Loop Collection, Sarah and I will be bringing you just a couple extra Resistance Loop exercises that we really like. Uh, one that I've actually been doing recently is a great knee stabilization exercise and it's just a take on the single leg squat. This is kind of higher level and it's going to be a little tough, but if you're a runner or if you've had kind of some knee pain that's been nagging you for a while, this is a great exercise to help get your knee in good alignment and strengthen your hip and leg musculature, and then as well as uh, stabilizing that ankle in order to help eliminate a lot of that pain that you may be experiencing. So when we run or walk or do athletic activities, a lot of times our knees have a tendency to buckle in or bow in like this, which can ca cause a lot of pain on the inside of our knee. So this exercise and using a band is gonna help us cue our knee to be out in a more, in a, either in a neutral or greater than neutral position, which puts us in better alignment and forces us to use our glutes, our quads and our hamstrings, the bigger muscles, instead of letting our knee fall in and putting all that pressure there. So what we're gonna do, and this is gonna be tough, so bear with me, is we're gonna go up on one leg. We're gonna try and keep our knees parallel, keep a nice tight core, and we're just gonna go down, careful to not bring our knee over our toe. So we'll have to kick back into our hip and then just come straight back up. And you can go down as far as, your, as far as your knee will be able to. Somebody with a little bit more mobility may be able to kick back a little bit further and go a little bit deeper, but we don't want our knee going over that toe. Puts a lot of stress on the front of the knee and can cause further injury. Another little take on this exercise that we can do is once we're down in this position, we can swing our other leg out, keeping our hips straight. And then that will force this leg to stabilize against this force out here, providing further providing further stabilization for that knee. So if you're able to do this, this is a great exercise and good luck. All right, for our exercise, we're gonna do a little bit more cardio. So we're gonna do some jumping jacks, but we're gonna use the resistance band. So the resistance band, depending on how heavy it is, could either go above your knees or below down by your ankles, depending on how hard you want it to be. So we're gonna get a nice jumping jack and you wanna make sure the band doesn't just snap your legs together. They're nice and controlled, but this is a good way to get your heart rate up. Hey everybody, got another exercise for the band collection. This one we like to call Monster Walks. This is a great exercise we like to do. Um, you can either do it at home or in the gym. We like to do this one in the, in the clinic a lot. This is a great exercise to help work on uh, glute strengthening and some hip stability. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start off in a nice, in a nice, uh, you know, semi squat, half squat position. Make sure we have a flat back. And what we're gonna, all we're gonna do is walk backwards, but we're gonna kick our legs in a diagonal direction a little bit out to the side. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So we're gonna maintain the low squat. And what we like to tell people is act like you're walking under a low ceiling and you're trying not to bump your head. You're trying to stay underneath that low ceiling. So we're gonna load up on our, on our one leg, kick back into the side. Without touching the ground in the middle, we're gonna go back and to the side. Again, maintaining that low, that um, that ceiling, because our, our natural uh, reaction is gonna be to stand, stand straight up, and then that's just gonna defeat the whole purpose of, of this exercise. So, you're gonna step back, and you can touch down in the, in the middle if you want to, but this will work on a little single leg stability as well. We're gonna step here and back. A couple tips. Try not to let those knees fall in and really squeeze and engage those glutes and keep that core keep that core tight. A lot of times we think we're engaging those glutes when all we're doing is arching our back. So we want to avoid that high back arch because that is you're just using your back muscles to step back and steady your glutes. Okay? So give it a shot. It's really, it's a really cool exercise, it's simple to do, you can do it anywhere. All right, and for our last exercise, we're gonna do some standing rows with the band. So you wanna put the band under your foot like this. And then you wanna get into a nice leaning position where your back is supported. So you don't wanna be rounded like this. You wanna have your chest up, shoulder blades back and down. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna hold the band with one hand and you're gonna pull back, pinch your shoulder blade, and then come back down. Pull back come down. So this is great for those postural muscles. And this is a good one that you can do on both sides. 